Hi everyone, it's Bev here, your mental health coach, providing tips, tools, techniques, and advice to help you to stay mentally strong in these unprecedented times. So the topic for this video is, wait for it, the cold water shower. Yes, you heard right, the cold water shower. So let me tell you what it can do for you and then I will talk to you about my experience because I never uh, advocate something that I'm not willing to try myself. So what can the cold water shower do for you? Well, the first thing is that it gives you a wake up call. You become superbly alert. Uh, you feel energized. It improves your skin. It gives your skin a glow. It kickstarts your metabolic rate and so therefore you're more able to lose weight if weight is your issue. It improves your immune system by sending and rushing that blood all the way through your veins, opens up your veins, makes your blood stronger, gives you good heart health. It eases stress. It reduces anxiety and depression. Shall I say more? There is more. It helps with muscle soreness and inflammation. So it's not for nothing that athletes and people that are serious about sport know about the cold water shower. And it will help um, reduce inflammation of the cells. So it's absolutely amazing. If you're interested in reading more about uh, cold water showers, then the man for you uh, is Wim Hof. That is Wim Hof, and he is known as the Iceman. So let me tell you about my experience, because I thought I need to try this. So I had a shower, and I started off at my normal temperature, which is hot, and then I started to take the temperature gauge down a notch or so. Um, so far, so good. Until I got to lukewarm. And lukewarm, I have to say, is pretty refreshing and it's, it's really quite nice. But then I decided to go down a bit and then down to cold water, down to zero. And what's gonna happen when you get to zero, your body is gonna go, <gasps> And it's kind of like everything resets. Your mind, your body, and your spirit becomes as one. It atones. Now, what Wim Hof says at that point is that when you do the <gasps> like this, you're, you're, you should breathe into your lungs, deep breaths, so that you get the whole benefit of what the cold water shower can do for you. So you, <gasps> <gasps> you take the deep breaths and, and, and then uh, come out. Make sure that you don't uh, stay too long and you don't get cold because you don't want to do damage. I should say also that if you suspect that you've got underlying health issues, then the cold water shower may not be the way to go for you. So I felt as a consequence of the cold water shower as if I could do anything. In fact, I think I cleaned the kitchen cupboards after the, my cold water shower. So now, if you do have a concern about your health, then start with the your, with your feet. Just spray some cold water on, on, on your feet and go as high as you can, maybe up to the knees. You're going to get some benefit from that. I did the whole um, body shower, so all over, and that was pretty amazing. 20, 30 seconds, it's not a race, it's not a competition. So 20, 30 seconds is enough until if you want to, you can build up over time and get the real um, full frontal benefits of, of all of that. Um, now, if you want to go to the advanced level, then this is what you do. You, uh, you know, you rinse over um, with the cold water and then you uh, project the the nozzle of the shower at your gut. Bl give your your gut a blast of cold water that disperses all the cortisol, all the um, stress that you're harboring in your body. It's amazing. So, the cold water shower. The benefits are outstanding. You'll thank me later.
Until next time, stay safe.